So Coach Ferris, <laughs> uh, first time uh, interviewing you here. Uh, you've been on the job for four months? Something like that. Something yes, like sir, that. Tracy. Uh, what's been the experience overall so it's, far? It's been an unbelievable experience, you know, to work with Coach Kelly and this great staff, which is so knowledgeable, but great people as well. And then to work with these players who love football and give so much effort, it's been awesome. And I'm learning a ton and having a blast doing it. Uh, how do you like it out here in California? Love it. Love it. I've been cruising this area for a long time. Right. Um, I love it. My wife really, really loves it. So we're, <laughs> we're thrilled, and uh, it's been a great experience. Um, Coming from Duke, uh, how similar are the programs in terms of academics, uh, uh, emphasis on football? Uh, how easy of a transition was that for you in terms of the similarities between the programs? Yeah, I think there's a ton of similarities. You know, at Duke, we had great kids as well, and all those kids were very, very smart, and education was important to them. It's really the same here. Um, you know, this is obviously on the other side of the country, and there are some differences, but the same type of kid and the same way that we push them, there's a there's a lot of similarities there. Now, some of the kids when you first came in, did they mistake you for like a GA? <laughs> no, but uh, they think I'm crazy because I'm high energy. But um, I get I get that a lot that I'm young. But uh, they've all been great and helped me learn, and it's been fun. And the the passion that these players and coaches have for UCLA football is fun to be a part of. Well, tell me about coaching the position a little. Yes. Obviously, recent history, a lot of a lot of pretty good players playing tight yes. end at UCLA. So you've got that. To inherit, uh, and what about some of the uh, talent that you've seen in spring practice so far? Yes, that's the most exciting thing to me about it is the tight end standard here, here is so high, and we've got to live up to that standard and hopefully try to even raise the standard with all the greats that we've had. And the room is full of really, really good players that care. We've got a lot of unique skills, um, and I'm excited about it. And every day, every single one of those guys is pushing to be the best in the we compete against each other, but for each other, and they're all getting better. And they're relentless in the way that they take notes in meetings um, and how they attack walkthroughs, the whole the whole gamut. So I'm, I'm very, very excited, and um, this is a special group. And you brought up the energy just a while ago. Um, how big is it, you know, in the spring setting where things can maybe drag on a little bit because you're so far away from the season, but with the staff with so many coaching changes, uh, how does that maybe re-energize and reinvigorate th these players out here, especially since there, there are so many new faces? Yeah, I don't know about the staff changes. I can tell you this about these kids. Like, they love every opportunity they get to work. So they don't care that the first game's in however many months it is. They, this is an opportunity today. Today is Friday. We're getting better. And Mike Iziki leads that charge, him and Hudson Habermill. Um, they thirst the opportunity to work and improve. And every single day, they've done just that. So, you know, I think this is a mature group, and they don't think like most young people do. And what have you seen out of Mike so far in these first couple of practices? Yeah, I've seen a confident Mike Iziki who's really, really working every day to get better. And I, I've been most impressed. Yeah, he makes a bunch of plays. That's awesome. But the way he's brought the young guys, Carson Ryan, along, um, he's earning confidence and leading the group, which is great to see. And then uh, with your time at Duke, how long were you there? I've been, I was at Duke from 2008 to this January. So okay. it was a player, GA, Receivers coach, tight ends coach, offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, so a long time. And obviously uh, Jake Bobo coming from Duke. Yes. I mean, what, what does he bring to this offense that maybe people don't at first, you know, expect or, or realize? Yeah, I think Jake's an extremely good receiver. I think Jake can make tough plays. He's a play, was a playmaker for us at Duke. Um, and similar to Zeke, I mean, he's a really, really tough kid that loves football. I think he's whatever room you put him in, he's going to make the whole room tougher. Um, and he's a guy that you can count on third down to make plays. Talk a little bit about how it was because you you were here for uh, when you went out on the road recruiting. Yes. What was it like recruiting with uh, as a UCLA coach, and also the impact maybe that you had on Jake Bobo and Gary and Gary Smith. Yes. Yeah, so um, it was fun to be out here recruiting for UCLA. I'd known a lot of the coaches that I had gone seen, and this is a brand that sells coast to coast, and everybody understands and respects what UCLA is, the education, the kind of people, and the quality of the degree that you're going to get from here. So that was a lot of fun. Um, it was good to see old friends on the West Coast. And then, you know, Jake had made the decision before I had signed a contract here. And, um, you know, I was talking to Jake throughout the process. And, you know, I recruited Jake from Belmont Hill High School 100 years ago. So we have a great relationship, very close with his parents. And I wanted him to do what was best for him. And in his eyes, nothing could compare to UCLA. Um, when I decided to come here, we were recruiting Gary Smith, who I had recruited from Shelbyville, Tennessee. I'm from Tennessee originally. And, um, you know, I think Gary made the decision because of the same reasons Jake Bobo made the decision. Who would not want to be at UCLA? You know, I don't know how big a role I had in that, probably not very. Once you got Gary on campus, he understood this is the best thing for his future. So did Jake recruit you a little? 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe a little bit. No, it's just I did not need to be recruited. Has there been some bonding going on, you being pretty young along with uh, Coach Neuheisel? Yes, got a lot of respect for uh, Coach Neuheisel, his wife Nicole. We've hung out with them a bunch. They are great people, and he's Mr. UCLA. Played here, his father coached here, um, so he's showing me the ropes a little bit. We've been to basketball games together. Love those people. Good deal. Thanks, Coach. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.